Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. So yesterday I drafted an arena deck with three legendaries. I have done this, um, I think maybe two, maybe three times in the past. It is certainly extremely rare. I've never had four legendaries outside of like some Prince Malchazar shenanigans, but uh, yeah. It was an interesting experience. Overall, it was a really, really powerful deck. While legendaries often don't make up for just a bad deck, as a lot of legendaries are actually worse than some of the common cards out there, for instance. That that's certainly not the case universally, and in the deck I want to highlight today, uh, it was also, in addition to having the legendary package, just a pretty damn good deck overall. But uh, the really surprising thing is uh, I predicted that I'd lose to like some going second bullcrap, and uh, yeah, that's kind of what happened. That along with some other really, really ridiculous opponents. And I just wanted to capture this experience so you can see and you can really understand that, you know, you kind of have to manage your expectations. When you're going to arena, you might just have the best deck you've ever had, you've ever seen. But the way Hearthstone works right now, you're still pretty likely to lose quite a bit. And sometimes you might have a pretty disappointing experience, so it's important to manage your expectations and understand these factors, and I know you guys love to see me salty. So, here yeah, you go. Warlock, finally. Oh, shit, alright. Uh, fine. Let's go with the Blast Crystal. Sure. Okay. Okay. If it gave two health, it'd still be insane. Yeah. I mean, I'm only five cards in. I think I'm actually gonna try to pick up some dragons. I think it could be fun. Oh, there's a dragon. Let's go with the heal. Let's go with the death rattle. Probably the taunt, yeah. Probably the crystal weaver. Crusader for sure. I think I like to flip more than I like to charge. Oh yeah, I guess I need one drops and pings. Oh my god. But I have two blast crystal potions. Okay, well I've never had more than three legendaries, so... We are in position to break that count. Fine. That's really nice. That's pretty nice. No way am I taking that. No fucking way. Yeah, I got two dragons. I mean, I'd really like to, but... Apparently, you can get Dragon Fire Potion now. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, fuck it. There's no, there's no way I'm picking a third duplicate. Okay. All right. All right. Fail Fire Potion. Okay. Yeah, I think Kazakus is kind of bad. Going second again against Shaman, which is the most, the second most affected class by first versus second. Pretty bad once again. Three legendaries, never lucky. Yeah. Mind if I roll need? This only works <sighs> Okay. When you think through a turn, what is your thought process? Where do you prioritize the most? I don't know. Okay, dude. Alright, so turn popped up. What are the cards I can play? I can play this and that. I'm gonna play this. There's no way I can tap on three mana and expect to win. Actually, I can hardly expect to win at all anymore, but one can dream, am I right? If I can pull a Nixia, this might be a clear... I don't know, this is, this is pretty fucked up here. 
This is two drop, two drop, removal, removal. Going first. It's very hard to stop this. I got Kazakas, so but I can't play Kazakas. Alright, I just play the, the biggest thing I can and hope I don't get punished. Round four. I've been punished three times now, so. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can get a bit of a break in the fourth round. No break. Nope. I lost the fourth round as well. So the game started and I got wrecked four times in a row. This game is completely over. Just play that. It's the biggest thing I can play. Let's hope my opponent doesn't have another good answer here. As Devolve. He gets pretty fucking lucky with it. It's not a bad card if I get a big board clear though. So if I can pull a Fellfire Potion here, that'd be really nice. But I, don't, I doubt I could do that. Um, yeah, the only chance I have this game is to, is to do this here. I don't want to do that because being two mana behind when you're already behind and you have no life, it's almost impossible to win. Um, but if I don't make that play there, I, I literally cannot win because, uh, yeah, going first versus going second is real fun. You guys asked for the thought process. You're getting it. Oh, sweet. Top roll. I guess I have to burn that as well. So, we're going to be... Um, Ooh, no, but I, I can't do that. So okay, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be three mana behind now because we're desperate because just because we went second. All right. So let's hope he doesn't have anything big here because we can't kill any big stuff anymore. He's got a doppelganger. Just no to no taunt totem, please. All right, that's fine. Oh wow, I actually got a Nixia. This is decent here. So we're just going to play to survive. Chilma will activate the board clear of the death rattle. If I'm still alive at that point. My shield for Argus. The stand ready. Holy crap. What the fuck? This guy's really bad, but he went first and he had a good curve and constant removal, so being really bad is just irrelevant at this stage. Hex, yeah, yeah, that could happen. Well, going second and being desperate um, is basically just hoping your opponent doesn't have a good answer. So we're, we're just still doing that right now. Okay. It's actually pretty shitty. Probably the only thing that'll save me is a uh, Blackwing Corruptor and then a really sweet 5 mana Kazakh's potion. <sighs> yeah, I'm probably dead now. cards save me so I'm gonna tap well that's a fun game right like we really got to highlight why I'm a good player in that game right I'm not so sure I want to click on that all right guys if you want to send me a link I got I don't mean to be offensive I'm, sh I'm sure some of these are legitimate in different parts of the world. But 
I don't know if scontent.fewr1-2.fna is a legit image hosting site. Maybe it is. Alternative link, certainly. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. Oh, fuck. That is particularly bad because I have to tap here. I think I might just concede this right now. Form of dragon. Uh, oh, that's Facebook? Holy crap, dude! Uh, okay. I guess, sure. Alright, finally clicked on it. It's time for a I'm all virused up now, guys. I hope you're happy. Dude, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I can do right now. <laughs> Uh, secret mage. I tried decks like these, they just weren't very consistent. If you're having luck, keep going, but uh, I personally would not try again. Okay. Let's just, just get rid of this game real quick. And that guy nearly killed me on turn 5. My favorite Star Wars character. You mean in general or the game? In general, it's gotta be Vader, right? There's just nothing cooler than Vader. Ask Kylo, he'd agree. Part of the Vader fan club. No two drop is pretty problematic here, but I have a decent chance of getting one. Damn it. Oh, I guess I can't play the Scarlet Crusader anymore. This only works on the Damn. I think this is the end, guys. Sorry. Deck's pretty good, but uh, getting Zerged down when they have a far superior opener is... Well, just how the game works these days. Why does it have to be so painful? Oh no. Is that a weapon? What in the fuck is this, man? Uh, I don't know. This is over. Yeah, I just play a bunch of one drops and then have weapons and then oh look, it's it's basically hurts down again. Yeah. I'm not getting worse at the game. I think uh I think my average win rate in arena is pretty pretty damn crazy. Okay. Yeah. If he plays nothing, does bad trades and I top deck a dragon, I can win this, but that's that's kinda where we're at right now, so It's like, what? Triple one drop into buffed hyena weapon houndmaster. And they want to make arena standard, so this is more likely to happen. Please, please, Blizzard. Let's not have the end goal of arena be constructed with a higher chance of occurring every few weeks we play. More constructed cards. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding right now? The dude jousted Leroy off a of King's Elec after playing a perfect constructed hand. Go ahead, BM me. What else do you got? You got a high main on curve or what? No, I love playing arena. It's dispatch kinda. 
Arena's the best, guys. <laughs> okay. Sure. No, that was really fun, man. That was really good. I very much enjoyed that. It's really cool to see these kooky new decks pop up in Arena with cards I've never seen before and synergies I haven't seen before. It's really amazing. Thank you.